You can find the Pathfinder palette or panel again in the window menu. And the first icon is called Unite. And if we have these three objects, you can see them in the Layers panel. They're all separate objects at this point. If I select around these objects and I click the Unite icon, then what happens is if you look in Layers, I end up with one new object that has a perimeter around the outside of each of the objects. Anywhere that they overlapped, you've lost the path. So we have one path that we're left with. So I'll undo that and show you that if you select the three objects and if you Alt-click on Unite, you get something a little different. You get a compound shape that is made up of the three separate items. When you click on this, it selects all three, but if we were to go to the Direct Select tool, you can see that we can still access those original shapes should we want to, to edit them. At this point, just so you know what this Expand button would do, if we were to click that, it will now turn it all into one entire entity just made up of that uh, path along the outside of the three objects. Okay, the second icon in the Pathfinder panel is this minus front icon. So just like the first one, you have to have more than one object selected. So right now, let's just start uh, with this one. And I will Alt duplicate this with the Shift key. And what I want to end up with is a crescent moon. And I want a quick way to get this. So when I select two of these shapes, and then I click on the minus front, the object that is in the front is going to be the cookie cutter, and it cut away the object that was below, and we can end with the crescent moon. So I'll just undo that. So starting with the same ones, if I select both of these, and I Alt click on the minus front icon, in this case, the Alt has created a compound shape made up of the two paths. So you don't end with one entity. You end up with the same two, although it looks like there's only one. But again, with the Direct Select tool, you could go and edit this after the fact. Now, if the whole thing is selected, at this point if you wanted to return to one entity versus having a compound object, if we click this, uh, you can see we're left with just one path. And I guess there's just some limitations about editing. Uh, to go back to the original and let's say we wanted to move this one in and get more of a crescent moon, then we can do that at any time when this is a compound shape. So this time we are going to work with this intersect icon. So if you need to make an almond shape uh, for a leaf or an eye, I'm going to take this one and Alt duplicate it with my Shift key. And what I want to end up with is this middle shape. And this icon can help me to do that. 
So if I select both objects and I click this icon, watch the layers panel. I have two paths right now. When I click this one, I end up with one path and I have one entity here. And again, the uh, alt key alt click on here is going to do the same as it did previously. I'm going to end up, I start with two paths, I alt click and I end up with a compound shape that keeps those two originals but when I click off you can see I just still have access for editing back to those original objects.